Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in at the CZ Show Place, SHOT Show 2023. They've got a couple new products and some improvements on products they already own. I'm going to get Lexus in here to talk more about it, and I think you'll like what he has to say. Hi, my name is Alexis Pena with CZ USA. I work on the sales side of things, but I also happen to be on the CZ USA shooting team. So it is my pleasure to talk to you about some of our new products here today in the competition line, which, uh, you know, USPSA and CZ USA are my two favorite things to talk about. So we kind of get to blend the two together. So I would like to start with the C with a brand new CZ TS2 orange in 40 cal and nine millimeter. Um, big upgrades. Big upgrades from the standard TS2 to the TS2 Orange. I'm gonna hold these side by side to kind of give you guys a rundown here, but uh, I'll start from the top, work my way down. First thing you'll notice is that we have an adjustable rear sight on the Orange where the standard has a fixed sight. Moving a little bit further down, you'll notice that we've also added some, a third set of serrations up front for some of those unloaded starts. Just gives your hand a little bit more to bite into when trying to run the slide. The front sight, on the gun now shares the same front side as the Shadow 2 Orange. Um, simple set screw, you remove the set screw, you can slide the, the front sight right off, replace it, change it out, clean it, do what you want to do, put it back on there, tighten it, and you are done. The biggest change and my personal favorite is going to be the new barrel. The barrel has been redesigned. We actually have a bull barrel now. So the new barrel has been polished and is about 40% heavier than the standard TS2 barrel. This is good news because not only does it extend the service life, not only is it more accurate, but it also adds a little bit more weight up front for some more recoil mitigation. And recoil mitigation is going to be something that you're going to see as a, as a theme here on the new TS2 Orange. Um, moving a little bit further down from that barrel, you're going to see that the manual safeties have also been redesigned. They sit a little bit higher up on the frame, which allows you to put your support hand a little bit higher up on the gun to further mitigate recoil. Along with that, we've redesigned the thumb rest, which is not available on the standard TS2. The new thumb rest has been redesigned so, uh, to accommodate a, uh, a support hand that sits higher up to put your hand in a better position to again mitigate that recoil. Um, moving a little bit further down here, you'll notice that we have an aluminum trigger where the standard TS2 will have a polymer trigger. Uh, orange aluminum anodized uh, magazine release paddle, grips, orange magwell, and a, newly uh, a new orange base pad which uh, just has an aesthetic update to it which looks fantastic. These guns are extremely soft shooting. It's what I will be shooting in 2023 and uh, I'm very excited and cannot wait. Is there wait. a market for 40 Smith & Wesson competition? Yes, so in USPSA's limited division, we have what we call major and minor power factor. So basically, the easiest way to think about it is you get a scoring advantage for shooting major, and that's where 40 falls in. All the top dogs are shooting 40. If you want to be competitive in that division, you want to be shooting 40 caliber, and which is why we have this in uh, 9 and 40 as well. Interesting, okay. Yes. All right, thank you. I'm going to get a shot of that right there. So they have the MSRP. Yes. We have the CZ Custom AO1 SDOR. Folks are already going to be familiar with the CZ Custom AO1 LD. LD standing for long dust cover. SD meaning short dust cover. Think of this more as a line extension rather than a new product. So new to CZ USA, the CZ Custom AO1 SDOR. Short dust cover, optics ready. This is this comes from our custom or from CZ Custom in Arizona. This is 100% done in house. They, they do all the machine work, uh, everything is hand fit. You're gonna have a bull barrel, uh, fiber optic front sight, blacked out rear sight, double action, single action, actually created for USPSA's production division, um, but can also be used in carry optics as well. You're gonna have a pin sear cage, you're gonna have fantastic triggers, it's gonna have uh, the CZ Custom competition hammer, same with the internals, have all been worked over by those guys. These guns shoot great. About 47 ounces, so still heavy without being too heavy. Soaks up a ton of that recoil. Takes P10, F, and P09 magazines. Interesting. But, and the real kicker here is you can also use CZ75 magazines, which some folks would say, well, why would I not just use the P09, P10F, uh, higher capacity magazines? And that's because in USPSA's production division, production is limited to 10 rounds. So you can use a CZ75 magazine that is actually smaller 
uh, than the P09 magazine, but you still have the same size hole in the bottom. So you almost have like a magwell in the uh, a bigger magwell in the gun because you can use a smaller magazine. But P09, P10F magazines, you can use 75 magazines. They shoot fantastic, just like you would expect from the CZ Custom Shop. Hex, I'm gonna give it. That a little bit. When you came out with Optic Ready, what did you find out from your consumers? So the consumers, they always want Optics Ready, right? Uh, so this is something that we had been wanting from the factory for a while. They finally had went ahead and made it. I believe this, this has been out for about a year or so now. And really the only difference is going to be that it is Optics Ready. And you're going to notice that there are no rear cocking serrations on here. Um, but you still have them in the front. If you have an optic on the back, you're not really using the rear serrations. Plus, it gives you a wider shelf. It, aesthetically, it looks a lot better when you do have a, uh, an optic mount on top. You don't have I the. I never even noticed that it didn't have the the rear serrations. Yeah. So if you have the traditional tri-cut slide, uh, if you put an optic on top, sometimes you can have some of the, the footprint sticking out from the bottom. But with the optics yeah. ready, we kind of solved that issue. Um, and again, it's very competition oriented and specific. So those guys aren't using. Uh, the rear cocking serrations to begin with, so I think it's a great compromise. Once you remove the uh, the optic cover plate, the rear side actually comes off of it as well. It's attached to the plate, so you just put in your corresponding plate and optic, and uh, and you're ready to rock. All right. So there you go. That's what's new with CZ USA. Yeah. A little bit different, but I think people who compete, people who love accurate shooting, you're really going to dig what they have to offer. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.